everybody. All in totes here, and I am going to bring you, let's see, a Target haul. How about that? A Target haul sound good? Well, I tell you, I, um, I found some new stuff, and I found some old stuff that I, um, wanted more of or didn't have yet and I was shocked to see it. So I'm going to share just this little bit with you. I'm hoping it gives some of you hope that didn't find these yet because I I had given up all hope on finding more of these. So I found three more packs of these little puppies. I, I think I have one. That was it. I only found one and I had been to store after store after store. And actually the store that I found them at I had seen them, or I had checked that one before, um, probably a couple times, and did not see any of this stuff. And I had to dig, which I normally do, and I'll be darned, they were all actually in the same bin, so I don't know, and actually this store is where I found the few things that I'm going to show you from this collection. Um, so yeah, anyway, I... I found three more of the, the Flamingo page flags. So you might get lucky, you just have to kind of check. Um, and then I found one more of the pineapples. I thought I found two, but maybe I did and I forgot to grab one. I was so excited about the flamingos, but I found another pack of the um, pineapples. And then I did not have these yet. And so I couldn't believe it. I found the little um, macaroon erasers. I was so excited to find these. They were just sitting right there. So I was ex extremely excited to um, find these. So maybe, I don't know, you never know, I guess, if you keep looking and you're, you still haven't found these, maybe keep looking. I, it seems like if you just give up altogether, they just, there they are, magically. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I found those. I was so excited to find that stuff. Um, so I'm pretty happy. And then I picked up just another one of these. So pretty and vibrant. So I went ahead and grabbed another pack of those. I found a couple more of these, too, at that store. The, the little page flags. I, I love those colors. I think they were beautiful, but... The flamingo one was my favorite. I just loved it. And I have to tell you, one thing that I am finding kind of frustrating about the Target page flakes and things is that they are taking them and they are like putting probably like little glue dots or something on the bottom of each one of these and sticking them to the cardboard in the packaging. And so when you go to pull them off, a lot of times the bottom one or two page flags rip. Please, Target. <laughs> I know you're probably not watching me, but if you do, someone by chance, please don't stick them to the packaging because they they don't come off easily. You know, unless there's something that I'm missing, unless there's some kind of trick to it. So like when I took out all my page flags for these the bottom one or two of each one ripped so I was went from having what 25 sheets in each one to you know 23 <laughs> which I mean you know it's still I think a buck this was an incredibly good deal for a dollar so I I can't complain too much but it you know it's it really shouldn't happen. It, they shouldn't have it packaged that way. I found a pack of these butterflies, and I think that I did find these before, and I just passed them by, but I went ahead and got them this time. Got the butterflies. And then, and I like to use erasers in, there's one specific thing that I do, but um, they are fun to use in any kind of, pro any you know, project. Even scrapbooking, you could use these, so... And then I went ahead and got, they had three more of these. I went back and um, found three more of these things of straws. I, I just love them. They, right now I have them actually sitting out on the desk here in one of my um, containers. And I just think they're super cute. But um, like I said, these would be uh, really cute on scrapbook pages. Um, 
So I, I, bu I bought three more of those, and then I got... <laughs> <laughs> I think this was accidental, but I, I meant to get one, but I think I got one at one store and one at the other store, not realizing. Yeah, some... <laughs> anyway, so I these are super cute pens, and I, I know I had passed them up before, but this time I went ahead and I guess I bought two. <laughs> um, and, you know, especially since they go with the summer stuff, so... And again, this too, I had passed this up, the stickers up before, but uh, I guess this time I felt them. It must be because it's getting closer to summer. Um, they have the, they're just repeating, but they're real pretty and they go with the pens and, you know, the summer stuff here. So it went really well with this. And I have the other, some other items that I already hauled that go with that. And then I grabbed a couple more packs of these uh, pencils because I just think they are so cute. And unfortunately, we go through a ton of pencils here because we homeschool. So, um, and I have a little haul. I don't know. She, I think she likes to sharpen her pencils all the time. So we we go through pencils very very quickly here. Um, so I grabbed that, and then I grabbed just one of the. Um, galaxy markers, white marker for our little chalkboard. I, these are so much nicer than, um, you know, the regular chalk because it's always a little bit too thick. So these are nice to write with on the chalkboard. And then, and then I moved on to, here we got just a, I only grabbed a few of the newer things. I grabbed the new washi tape from Target. There's not a lot on each of these rolls. Um, it says nine yards in total, though. So that's, you know, for... Oh, it was $3, actually. So it, it's... Eh. If it was a buck, it would definitely be a good deal. $3 is... Yes. It's not terrible. You know, it's nothing like what you get at the Dollar Tree at all. But um, at least not on their single rolls for a buck. But... It was really cute tape, so I went ahead and grabbed two packs of this. I, I do think it's very pretty, and it goes really well with these anchor tags, they call them. So, but I suppose you guys could put these on your planners, but I'm thinking like a scrapbooking page. But, um, yeah, th these are really cute together. I didn't see a lot of stuff though that matched this. So hopefully they'll put out more because I did most of it was, um, you know, typical Fourth of July colors. So and I love this. I think this is beautiful. The pink with the um, kind of bluish teal and yeah, I I love these colors. So I hope that they put out some more stuff in line with this. But then I got. Um, these here, I got two packs of the little um, pinwheel stickers, just little pinwheels, and you can make these, you guys. I'm sure, um, I'm sure there's probably tutorials out there. You can always make your own pinwheels for scrapbooking and things, but um, these were cute, already pre-made, and uh, they match the this ba these banners that I got just got one pack of these and then um, I got another pack of pinwheels of different um, and again you could make these yourself too but um, of, you know make different styles or whatever paper you might have around but anyway these are going to go these here are going to go well with um, some things I picked up at Walmart as well and I will be bringing you that haul in just a couple minutes. They had like signs and oh I'm trying to, I mean they just had a ton of 4th of July things. I just um but I only took the things that I really felt like I would use. So because this mama has been doing a little bit too much shopping lately. <laughs> anyway so I that is um that is the end of that. Um the one thing also that I wanted to show you that we got from Target was this candle. It's called 
it's called sweet spun sugar I happen to walk by this and I loved it I always smell candles so I never usually buy the expensive ones but I grabbed this and oh my goodness the smell was just oh I love the smell of this candle so anyway I did pick this up luckily it was it was on sale I think um, it was originally like $14 and I think I got it for $10 at the time so I've already burned this <laughs> quite a bit of this up because I burn it constantly um, so I've had I think I've had it for about a week but um, like I said the throw from this is actually better I think when it's cold to be honest I smell it more when I'm sitting here and it is not even burning so um, and anyway I just wanted to share that because it, it really has a sweet wonderful smell to it and it's called a scented soy candle from Target so anyway I just thought I'd throw that out there for you and then um, little haul here she she did pick up a few things um, in the clothing section and I don't know if you guys are interested in that at all but um, I just thought I'd show you real quick what she got um, she got this uh, really cute really comfy little um, it's like a jumpsuit but anyway and I don't know if you, if you, if you don't like patterns this wouldn't be for you but oh it's really cute and she just tried it on for me so I could make sure that it fit her. Um, but anyway, it's it's pretty cute. It's got like the little tight bottom leggings and stuff. And then it's just a little ruffle at the top of it with um, some trim. Some nice trim around the, the, the end of the ruffle. And then it kind of tightens at the waist here. And then it's it's got the full legs, you know. It does not feel like trying it on, I guess, for you. So... Um, just we'll just show you what um, what we got and then um, I got her these really cute little shorts I thought these were adorable and before I burn the house down here I'm gonna move the candle out of the way what I like about them is the trim now I know that uh, I remember seeing um, shorts kind of like this for um, Lily Pulitzer, actually, but um, anyway, they were similar to this. I this design with the so this must be must be kind of the in thing this year. That's but they're very cute little Minnie Mouse ears or little Minnie Mouse bows. I think is but anyway, they look really cute on her. Um, but like I said, she doesn't want to. She didn't feel like trying them on for everyone, which I, which is fine. I don't blame her. Um, and then they had quite a few little, um, like summery uh, dresses and. Um, oh, I'm sorry. These were not on sale. These were $14.99. And then this, this, this was on the clearance rack for $13. $13.98. Then she got this other little jumper here. Um, it's kind of got ruffles on the sides. The ruffles on the sides of the arms. And then it buttons down the front. And it has elastic in the waist. And it's, you know, long. It's a full pant, but real lightweight, real comfy, you know, lounging. Um lounging clothes. I, I wish I could fit into it. It's super cute. Anyway, um, but it just looks real comfortable, real springy, summery, you know. Anyway, so she grabbed that one and that jumper, did I tell you? Let's see, that jumper was $13.98 as well on the clearance rack. So anyway, she got that and then, um, then we picked this one up for $12.58 on the clearance rack. Short sleeved and then it has that loop in the back and shorts, the cute shorts with the trim on the side and then the elastic. It's kind of like a minty green color. 
And then one last thing that we got her was this little um, sun, like a sundress on the Clarence. This was on Clarence, the Clarence rack for twelve dollars and fifty-eight cents as well. And yeah, it's just a just a you know long sundress. The trim, a couple of layers of trim there to give it some ruffle, I guess, and then just bunched at the top. So anyway, just to give you an idea of what's out there, if you're if you have kids, um, she's she, she's kind of almost out of the kids stuff, but she can still fit into so it. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Okay, bye. Kind of like the a ruffle with the little balls, <laughs> the little balls. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. With the little ball, little um, puff balls, little puffy balls. <laughs> puff balls. Oh my goodness! It has like a little ruffle at the top with the little balls, little um, trim. Of balls. <laughs>